does he guide you? Yes, God guides me. No, I said, can, can you hear his voice? Yeah, every time I read the Quran, I hear God speaking no, to me. He can talk without, uh, not only for Quran. He can talk to you personally, not every situation. So, so let me ask you one thing. Do you worship Jesus or do you worship the God of Jesus? Last question, and then I leave. So, I worship my God. That's not my question. One. That's not is my, worship, that is not my question I though. I have a specific question. Worship you worship God Jesus. Father. You're going to go to hell if you do. Whoever worships other than God, God has told himself that they'll go to hell and they'll never come out of it. God is if you worship Jesus or Moses or Abraham or David or Muhammad or any, anyone else, Jesus. hellfire is your one-way ticket and you'll never come out. Jesus said, who follows me, he will be in heaven. No, I'm telling you, if you worship other than God, and you worship the angels or human being, Jesus or Moses or Abraham, or even Muhammad, you will go to hell and you'll never come out of it. Even Quran says that this is extraordinary special. No, Quran says he's a slave and a servant of God. And God were to destroy Christ, no one will help him. Even Quran says that uh, no one, no one. Like the Quran says, if Jesus. God were to destroy Christ and his mother, Muhammad, who is there to help them and save them? No one. Muhammad was a simple person. Oh, now you see? So now person. becomes character assassination. That Prophet so, Muhammad is sinful. Prophet Muhammad was not God. He was a servant of God. He is the messenger of God. Right? Jesus is my brother. So, I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave with you, no hard feelings, no hard feelings, but in the day of judgment, you know that I will be a witness against you. I will be a witness against you, that I gave you the message that Jesus himself said, the only God that you should worship is the God in heaven, not himself. He said he was a agent of God, a man of God, a prophet of God, and yet you worshipped him. So Jesus will not help you in the day of judgment, and I will be a witness against you. But the Bible says, if you don't believe in Jesus, I thought you will be. What does it say that? What does it say that? You lied. You lied. What does it say that? You lied. What does it say that? We are all witnesses now. Let's see, let's see it. Why does it say that? Brother, don't say any word. What does it say that? Excuse me, brother. Just look at me. What does it say that? You just lied in front of the public and all the millions of people that will be watching you. Why does it say that? that if you you just She's finding it now. Let's see. Let's see. And we would demand a sincere apology for lying. Or maybe you were mistaken. I will take that. If you said, look, I, I mistake, mistook what the Bible said, I will accept it. Okay. Yeah. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that everyone believing into him should not perish but have everlasting life. For God didn't send his son into the world that he might judge the world, but the world might be saved through him. The one who believing unto him is not condemned, but the one who is not believing already been condemned for the, the for he has not believed into the name of only begotten son of God. And what did you claim earlier? Yes, Jesus is God. Once again, what did you claim earlier and what are you producing as a supporting text? It doesn't support what you said. What did you claim? Do you remember? You can watch the videos. Look, so many channels are recording this. Yeah? So at least I put people that you you were mistaken. Apologize. That is the, the minimum thing you should do. Say, I'm sorry, I misunderstood what, what, what I was claiming. And this is the judgment that the light has come into the world. It's Jesus. And man loved the darkness more than It doesn't the support light. what you claim. Jesus. And their works were evil. What did Jesus say who you should worship? One final question. According to Jesus, who should you worship? Because Jesus never said, worship me. He says, worship the one who is in heaven. Oh, Father, art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy will be done. Thy kingdom come. That's the Lord's prayer. And these Christians, self-delusion. To self-delusion. Thinking what they read is what it says. But in fact, they are deceived.
by Satan in thinking that Jesus himself taught them that. In fact, Jesus said, no, you should worship him and him should you serve only. Who was he referring to? The God on heaven. Whose will be done? Whose kingdom come? The God in heaven. So Jesus never said, I am God and worship me and worship, you know, me as God or whatever. So how are we going to let our Christian friends, because the discussion was with the Christian lady, to understand this, this delusion they're in, they have to look and look after and care for their own souls. Because if your own soul is deceiving you, I cannot help you. But be sure that I will be a witness against you. All the people here will be a witness against you in the day of judgment. Because we have made clear the message to you about the only God worthy of worship was the God of Jesus and Jesus was a messenger, a prophet of God. And we have made a hujja against you. We have made a hujja and evidence against you in your belief that Jesus is God when we demonstrated it's the opposite. Jesus has a God which he submitted and surrendered to, making him a Muslim. وآخر دعوانا أن الحمد لله رب العالمين السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته.